Hi everyone, this is Tracy from Snazzy Moon Designs. Today I'm going to make a short video to show you how to resize a design, enhance the color, print the design, and save the design using Silhouette Studio. So let's get started. First we want to open Silhouette Studio. Now I just downloaded this today, so I would like to let you know that I am not a professional with the software. Okay, so when you open uh, Silhouette Studio, you should have a start page like this. If you don't, that's not a big deal. Um, if you don't see this page set up over here, just click on Panels and click on Page Setup. Now, as you can see, I have mine set up Machine None, Cut and Mat Auto None, and Letter Size 8.5 by 11. Now, 8.5 by 11 is the size paper that we use in our printer to print out a design for 20 ounce tumblers. Okay, and then in this grid settings, which I don't think is a big deal, I have snap to grid, enable smart snapping, and smart snap. Okay, so when we open our design, we want to open it in landscape mode. So first we need to change this eight and a half sheet of paper, if you will, to landscape. So if it's not already in landscape mode, come over here and click on this and it turns it to landscape mode. That way we can see what our design is going to look like before we print it. Okay, let's go get our design. First we're going to come up here to this little open folder, click on that and then you will select the design you want to print and resize from your files. I have some here already selected. So I'm going to click on this design and click OK. Now as you can see this design has not been sized to print out on a printer for a tumbler. So what we need to do is resize this image. So we're going to click on it. Now when you do that, you will see these lines around the edges. That way you'll know that you have selected the design. You should also see this uh, menu appear up here. We want to resize this design to 9.4 width by 8.2 height. That's what I use anyway. So I'm going to come up here and click on this lock to unlock the aspect ratio. Okay, then I come over here to width, double click, I enter 9.4, enter. And then for my height, I double click on that, 8.2, enter. Okay, you can see that my uh, design has disappeared, but it's there, but you just can't see it. Now, if once I select this and I click over here, you'll see this menu will disappear. To get that back, just click on this Select All icon right here. And then come over here to the Center to Page and click on that. Now our design will appear exactly where we need it to be. Okay, so now we have our design. It's uh, size 9.4 by 8.2. That is the size I use for my tumblers. If you want to select a different size, that's up to you. You can use 9.3 by 8.1 or whatever, desi whatever size design you want to uh, print out. But I find that 9.4 by 8.2 is pretty common, and I can trim it down to the size that I need for my tumbler. Okay, so we have our design. Now we could go ahead and print it out like it is right now, but I'm going to show you how to enhance the image to make those colors pop even more. So what we will do is right click on the design and select duplicate and then take and drag the duplicate design off to the right. And take the one on the left and kind of center it over this white background and the one on the right and center it. That way we can uh, kind of compare 
the before and after um, images after we make our adjustments. So now click on your right design and then come up here to panels come down to image effects. What we're going to do is we're going to adjust this right design and see if we can make it look a little nicer before we print it. Up here you should see a little box that says image effects. Click on the sun. Okay. We don't really want to mess with the brightness. You can if you want to, but come to contrast and you can double click on that and select 40. Type in 40 and hit enter. And then come down to saturation, double click, type 10, enter. Now you can see a difference between the left design and the right design. Now this 40 and 10 is what I use, but you can have 30 and 5, whatever you think, whatever you feel looks better. I mean, it's all personal preference, but I was just showing you how to adjust this. So you can uh, put in whatever you want. Now if you compare these two images, you'll see that the one on the right is a little brighter. Colors a little, they pop a little better. Okay, so we can hit apply and um, come over here, click on panels, page setup again, and we're back to our page setup menu. So if you would like to print this design on the right, you can delete delete the one on the left. Select it by clicking on it and then delete. I just pressed the delete button on my keyboard. Then you can select the right design, come up here and click on center to page. And this is the design we're going to print now. Okay, so now we're ready to save the design. But before we do that, we want to save it in the orientation that we will use to print it. To do that, we're going to come over here to orientation and select portrait mode. So now this is the, the direction our printer prints our paper. Okay. You do not want to print in landscape mode because it just won't print out right. So now we need to take our design and rotate this to fit on our sheet of paper. Select on your design, come up here to Object, Rotate, and then rotate it by 90 degrees. And then come up here and hit your center to page. Okay, now it's ready to print. This is exactly how it's going to print on your printer. And it's 9.4 by 8.2. You can verify that right here, right here, and right here, and right here. Okay, before you print it, you may want to save it. Come up here, press File, select Save, and then I've got mine saved as sample number one. Save it however you want to. Save it. Okay, now we're ready to print. So you will come up here and select Print or Send to Printer. Click on that. Click on Print. This is just a print preview right here. Click on print. Select the printer that you use to print your sublimation designs. I'm going to select this 4760. And then go to preferences. And I show you in another video how to set your pre presets. So it's already set up for mirrored image. Click on my preset, mirrored image. Hit OK. And now I am ready to print. Just click print and it sends it to your printer. Okay, so we're going to go through this one more time using a different design just to make sure that um, you kind of get the hang of it. So we're going to come back up here. We're in, our in, we're in landscape mode, as you can see right here. And we're going to come back up here to open. We're going to select another design. Click OK. As you can see, this design here is smaller than our paper. So we can resize it, just like we did the last one. We're going to click on the design. Come up here, unlock it. 
unlock the aspect ratio, click on that, come over here, double click on the width, type in 9.4, enter, double click on the heights, type in 8.2, enter, and then come over here and center. So we just made this design bigger so it fits on our paper. The last one we had to make smaller. Okay, so now the design is on our paper. And uh, we can print it out just like it is. But let's see if we can uh, enhance this image a little bit just to make the colors pop. So just like before, we're going to right click on the design, duplicate, slide it over and kind of center it on the um, white background, kind of give us a little bit of, um, oh, what am I trying to say here? So you can uh, kind of see the difference between the two. Okay, once we have that set, we'll click on the right image, come up here to Panels, click on Image Effects, and then you'll see the Image Effects menu right here. Come over here and we're going to click on the sun. Contrast, double click, enter 40, enter. Saturation, double click, 10, enter. Okay, let's compare the two. I can see a big difference. A big difference. And um, I think we're going to use the one on the right, obviously. So click on the one on the left. You can right click and uh, delete and then we'll slide this one over we can slide it over and uh, come up here select all and center to page okay so here's the one that we want to print out so just like before we come up here to panels page setup we're going to take and we're going to rotate our paper to portrait mode we're going to click on our image. We're going to come up here to Object, Rotate, and Rotate 90 degrees. Come up here, Center on Page. Now it is ready to print. Come up here and click on our printer. And click Print. And come up here, select the printer that you're going to use to print the design. Select that, go to Preferences, and click on your preset, which mine is Mirrored Image. Click OK, and then click Print, and it will print your image. And just like before, you can come up here, click on File, Save, and I'm going to use Sample 2, and OK. All right, now we had that saved. I want to show you something really quick. Let's delete this. Okay, so when you uh, want to use that file again, or design again to print, you'll come up here, click File, Open, or you can click on the folder and find your folder or your file that you just saved and double click on it, and it will it's ready to print. You don't have to adjust it or anything. So after you um, uh, resize an image and adjust your colors and save it, you can just print it over and over again without having to do all that, just by double-clicking on it and opening it. So hopefully this video has helped you, um, and now you can resize a uh, design, enhance the color, print it, and save it. and. Uh, Good luck with your sublimation. Thanks for watching.